Thank you for joining us for bar class today. I'm Elise Loren. Today we will need two sets of weights, a heavier set and a lighter set, and a resistance band. If you don't have these props, don't worry about it. You'll still feel the burn, I promise. Let's come to stand and grab your weights, the lighter set here. From here, we are going to step our feet a bit wider on your mat. All of your toes will point straight forward. Now bring your weights together. We're going to bend the right knee, Send your butt back so your knee lands over your ankle, and then lift your heel and swipe to the left. So we go down and swipe, down and swipe. And as you twist, engage your obliques in your right side. So here we're warming up not only the core, but also warming up the shoulders as we reach and your quads as you sit back. Exhale, inhale. We have five more. Then we'll go right on the side two. Three, two, last one. Nice, feet stay as they are. Now we'll just reach to the left. Bend your knee, send your butt back. Lift your heel, swing to the right. So we bend and reach. Inhale, exhale. Really engage your core. It's easy to just spiral without feeling much happening. Engage that left side obliques. Nice work. Keep sitting farther back in your side lunge. We have five more. Four. Three. Two, and one. Woo, nice work. We're gonna lower the weights for a moment. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, grab your left wrist, pull up and over to the right. Option to step your left foot behind your right foot. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, reach up and over to the left. Option to step right foot behind left foot. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, forward fold. Release your head and neck. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands, step back into a traditional plank pose. Spread through all of your fingers, melt your heart. Lift your kneecaps up your legs. Really press down through the big toe mounds of your feet for inner rotation in your upper thighs. If you want more today, Shoulder taps, opposite hand to opposite shoulder. Try to keep your hips from rocking side to side too much, so really engage your core here. Again, just a warm up, 60 seconds. You've already been here for about 20 or so. You're halfway through. Twenty seconds left. Final ten. Eight. Six. Four. Three. Two. And one. Hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Pedal through your heels. And from here, walk your hands back towards your feet. Come up to standing and grab your heavier set of weights. Beautiful. Step your right foot once again a bit wider. All of your toes are pointing forward, so we're gonna go back into the side lunges with some bicep curls. Bring your palms up by your sides. Sit down for two, and up for two. So we bicep curl on the way down. And really we're working both the quads and the arms. So make sure that your chest is lowering closer to your palms. As you come down, send your butt further back. Up for two, and down for two. Five more slow. Last four. Final three. And two. Last one, stay low. Now just arms up, 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 and up. For bicep curls, just lift your fists up and down. We have 10, eight, six, 
four, three, two, and one. Good. Lower your weights. Come upright. Turn your toes out and your heels in. Now sit down and back. Good. Stay here. Flip your palms up by your sides. Elbows hug your side bodies. Now we just flip in and out. In and out. Alternating which hand is on top. Really open your shoulders as you lift. Notice your right bicep probably feels a bit warmer than your left. That is quite all right. Now we'll add the pulse down, up, down, and up. Just an inch or two up and down. Down and up, down and up. We have five, four, three, two, Final one, good. Come up to standing, turn your toes back towards the front of your mat. From here, bicep curls, but jackhammer curls. So we'll keep the thumbs pointing up. Sink it down for two, bicep curl, up for two, release. Down for two, bicep curl, and release. Keep your chest moving a bit more parallel to the ground. Up. And down. We always start slow, finding the muscle groups, finding the alignment, and then we'll move a bit quicker. And up. Last four. Final three. Last two, then we pulse. And up. Final one, stay low. Elbows hug the side bodies. Now we're just up, 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 and up. So good. So our wrists are about elbow height, and then they move up from there towards your shoulders. Keep length through the back of your neck. We just have 10, eight, six, four, three, two, and one. Come up to standing. Once again, turn your toes out, your heels in. Bring your weights to touch and up overhead. Sit down and back. Now we're just going to focus on triceps. Down for two, lift up for two. Down for two, up for two. So if you start to get tired, your shoulders will want to move up towards your ears like you're shrugging. Keep them down your back. Five more slow. Last four. Final three, both arms working equally. Last two, and up, final one, and up. Now we pulse just up, up. If you wanna add the legs, you can move in the same direction with your legs. Up and up, we have 10, eight, six, four, three, two, and one. So good, toe heel your feet a bit closer. Grab your lighter set of weights for shoulders, unless you're really feeling like you wanna crush it, stick to the heavier set. Okay, and then step your feet back wider. Bend your knees from here, bring your arms to a T. Good, we lower down for two, come up for two. Now bend elbows in and out, good. We lower down for two, up for two, draw it in and out, three more slow, down for two, up for two, draw it in and out, last two, draw it in and out, last one here, lower down for two, up for two, draw it in and out, now a change, we lift up for two, down for two, in and out. Four more and you're done with arms. Up for two, down for two, draw it in and out. Last three, up for two, down for two, draw it in and out. Keep that bend in your knees. Keep control in the weights. If you need to lower your weights completely, please do just keep moving. Last one. We go up for two, down for two. Draw it in and out. Lower your weights. Straighten your legs, step together. Release your weights completely. Shake out your arms. Any movements that feel good. And we're gonna get moving right to the bar. 
Grab your resistance band. Bring it up your legs right above your knees. And then come to the bar. Place your right hand on the bar or whatever thing that you're holding on to for balance. And then turn out so you're now facing away from the wall. Bring your heels together, your toes out wide, and your inside hand to your hip. Now lift your heels, step your feet to touch, press your heels in on one another, and separate your knees, sit down. From here, your hand that's on your ledge is light. Sit down for two. Come up to standing, zip up your legs. Down for two. Come up to standing, zip up your legs. So as you come all the way up to standing, engage your glutes. So we're working not just the quads on the front of the body, but the glutes in the back. And up, squeeze. Down for two. Up and squeeze, good. Sit a little lower than your comfort zone. Keep your shoulders stacked over your hips. We have three more slow. Last two and up. Final one and up, good. Now sit down, just pulse, pulse. Pulse and pulse. No longer coming up. Knees move away from one another into the resistance band as you lower. We have 10, 8, 6, 4, 3, 2, stay low, and 1. Now press knees out, 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 and out. Hips are no longer moving in any direction. We're just pressing the knees out and out, out and out. So good. We just have 10. Eight, then a combo. Six, four, three, two, and one. Sit down, knees back. Down, knees back. Down, knees back. Nothing lasts forever, stick with it. Down, knees back. We just have five, four, three, Last two, final one, stay here, now just down, down, just a pulse to end. Keep your hips low and your heels high, down and down, down and down. Maybe both arms lift if you're feeling good with balance. We have six, four, three, two, and one, nice work. Come up to standing, so good, nice job. We are going to come back to the bar. Keep your band on. Place one arm down and then the other. Lower your forehead to your forearms. Step your heels underneath your hips. Turn your right toes slightly out to the side. Micro bend in your right knee, send your left toes back. Now lift to hip height, lower your toes to the ground. Lift up to hip height, Lower your toes to the ground. Good. Up. Squeeze. Down to the ground. Up. And squeeze. Down to the ground. We have five more slow. Last four. Final three. Make sure to engage your core. Squeeze your glutes at the top. And two. Down for two. Final one. Up. Down for two. Now lift your toes to hip height. Just pulse it up, 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 and up. It's just an inch up and an inch down. Up and up. We just have 10, eight, six, four, three, two, and one. Bend your knee, reach up through your heel. Now just pulse up, 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 and up. Just up. Try to keep your left knee to hip height and then reach up higher than that. We just have 10, eight, six, four, three, two, and one. Lower your toes back to the ground. Now open your hip just slightly out to the side. Your toes will reach out and up to the ground for two. So now we're reaching out and up to get into your glute medius and minimus. Hips stay slightly open. Draw a diagonal line up and back. Down for two, you just have five. Root through your left forearm more if you only feel this in your right glutes. 
and down for two. Last three. Final two. Last one. Up, down for two. Nice work. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Sit down and back. And then come up right, we'll move on to side two. Lower left forearm, down and right forearm. Heels underneath your hips, turn your left toes at an angle. Send your right toes straight back. From here we lift up for two, toes to the ground for two. Up and squeeze to the ground for two. Engage your core to support your low back here. We go up and squeeze down to the ground, up and squeeze down to the ground. You have five more slow. The second you want to give up and stop moving, know that it's almost over. And yes, you can. You absolutely can keep moving. You've already done it on one side. Last one slow. Up and down for two. Now lift your toes to hip height. Pulse, 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 and pulse. Toes are pointing straight back or to the ground, but not at a diagonal, not yet. We have 10, eight, six, four, three, two, and one. Bend your knee, reach up through your heel. Just pulse, 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 and pulse. Make sure that there's still a light bend in your standing knee. Up and up. We have 10. Eight, six, last four, three, two, and one. Extend your toes down to the ground. Open your hips slightly. Now at a diagonal, we go out and up to the ground for two. Out at a diagonal, down to the ground. Squeeze your glute medius and minimus on the upper outer edges of your glutes as you lift Pause, lower it back down. You have five more and you're done. Last four. Final three. Last two. Final one, up and lower it back down. Nice work, left ankle over your right thigh, sit down and back. Woo, this is no joke you guys. Awesome job. All right, from here, we have one more set of glutes, two sets of core, and you're out of here. Come all the way down to your back. Keep your band on. For back dancing, step your feet hip width distance apart so that your heels are underneath your knees. Now bring your arms down by your sides, walk your shoulder blades closer together. Unlike a bridge pose in yoga, we're only lifting up to the lowest rib here. So we lift up for two, squeeze your glutes, then lower back down. We lift up and squeeze down to the ground. So you're tilting your tailbone up as you lift. Squeeze down for two. Five more slow, then we'll speed it up. Last four. Final three, squeeze down for two. Last two down for two, final one, up, down for two, now lift, just pulse, 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 and pulse, squeeze at the top, keep your entire rib cage on the ground, just up and up, up and up, up and up, we have ten, eight, Six, final four, three, two, and one. Step your inside edges of your feet together. Press your knees out, 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 and out. Out and out. Have resistance on the band the whole time. So press out more and come in less. Out and out. Hips are still high. So good, you guys. Out and out. Out and out, we just have 10. Eight and one last thing. Six, 
four, three, two, and one, lift your heels really high. Now pulse up, 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 and up. Knees stay wide. Heels touch each other for a bit more support. Up and up. You just have 10, 8, 6, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice work. Close your legs. Take your band off. Stay on your back here. From here, bring your arms up overhead, extend your legs straight up. Inhale, lower your legs to a 45 degree angle. Exhale, tap your fingertips to your toes. Inhale, lower, now arms will float. Exhale, tap. Good, so we're just here for an undetermined amount of time. Keep moving. Well, I've determined it for us, but you do not need to know. <laughs> Your tailbone will need to lift to tap your fingertips to your toes, but lift it with control. So we're not rocking and rolling here. We have control the whole time. You're halfway through. Twenty seconds left. Final 10, eight, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your knees in towards your belly, wrap your arms around your legs and give yourself a loving squeeze. We're gonna finish out our class today with some traditional bicycle crunches. Interlace your hands behind your head, bend your knees to a 90 degree angle, feet are lifted off of the ground. Inhale, lift your shoulders off the ground. Exhale, twist to your right, extend your left leg. Inhale through center. Exhale, twist to the other side. Now we're here for 60 seconds. That's it, that's all you have left, one minute on the clock. You can move faster, you can move slower, but keep moving with your breath. The higher you get your shoulder blades, the deeper you're getting into your obliques. Now we've already warmed them up from the beginning of class today with our golf swings. So you've got this in you, just keep moving. Halfway through, 30 seconds left, that's all you have. Fifteen seconds left. Last ten. Eight. Six. Four. Three. Two. And one. Release everything to the ground. Full body stretch. Inhale. Exhale. Let it go. Let's do one more of those. Inhale. And exhale. Bring your knees into your belly. Rock off to one side or up and down the length of your spine and come to a seat. Cross at your ankles, step your shoulders over your hips. Inhale, arms to lift, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart, close down your eyes. We'll close out our class with one final breath. Please inhale through your nose. Exhale, let it go. Draw your thumbs to your third eye space. I bow to you with so much love and gratitude. Namaste. It's amazing work. Thank you so much for joining me on this new fitness journey. I hope to see you back soon, either in yoga, fitness, or both. Have a beautiful rest of your day.